What are some things Barry gets uh, exactly right when it comes to the acting world and the acting industry? That's all incredibly correct. <laughs> it's harder for me to watch the, all the acting stuff because <laughs> it just hits so close to home. <laughs> Bill, how are you, sir? Hey, how are you? Good to see you. I caught up on uh, Barry this weekend, and it got me thinking about like all the great like anti heroes, like Tony Soprano and Vic Mackey and and Walter White and Barry's example, someone who wants to do good but has to do the bad thing. When I met Mr. Cousineau, I was a lost soul. He, left here on my own. he didn't just teach me how to be a better actor; he taught me how to be a human being. Face he saved my life. All alone. You look good. So do you. When you're writing it, are you ever worried about going too far? No, I think it's always just about like what's honest, like what makes the most sense, you know? And, and um, it's this kind of feeling of this, just a balance between honesty and then like what's kind of logical. And I mean, the one nice thing is because I play Barry, I can be in the writer's room going, yeah, I think, you know, his back is up against the wall. This is what he would do, you know. We, we find him this season, he's definitely in a bad place, but it's, you know, entirely his own fault. Don't have a lot of stuff anymore. <laughs> Turn yourself in. One of the great things about this show is it manages to tie together all of these loose ends. Now, um, as far as part of the production crew, you know, being in the writer's rooms, are these things that are intentional or does it just come up that like, oh, this might be a good way to get out of this? Oh, yeah. I mean... Yeah, we, we tend to always write ourselves into a corner and then um, and then first day of writing season three was, all right, so Kusano knows. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we going to do? <laughs> so, so you're saying that the key to good writing is, is dumb luck, just like, oh, yeah, yeah we can tie you know, you just get yourself out of it. You just have to figure out a way. And a lot of it is kind of what I said earlier, just being... Like, well, what's the honest thing that would happen? What does this character want and this character want? And how do these two things like coincide with each other? And it's like, well, this character would want to be here. And, you know, and then it kind of just starts to move. But it takes a, a while to figure that out. Uh, one of the fun things about the show is it seems like you give amazing lines to throw away characters. Uh, is that something that's intentional or just gets thrown in there? Oh, I just like it when everybody... You know, it's a thing, uh, you know, every character has a reason to live, you know? You just always want to make everybody, like, pop and have a reason to be there, you know? I, but also, I love old movies and, you know, those old Preston Sturgis movies, the funniest people were always a cab driver or, a, you know, a cop or something like that, you know? I think the hope is that eventually you can tie things back into those characters and eventually everything will be important. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes right. a, dumb, a dumb line is just a dumb line. <laughs> yeah. I'm like legit nervous. If we don't hear from you in two hours, we will all take cyanide pills. What? Ciao, babies. Anthony, how's it going? I am doing really well. How are you? I'm good. I tell you, I'm so glad season three is right around the corner because I need more NoHo Hank in my life. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. Uh, I tell you, with NoHo Hank, I'm watching this show and everything that comes out of your face is pure gold. I need a purpose. Forgiveness is something that has to be earned. It's like that line in Shawshank Redemption. Get rich or die trying. Something like this could turn into a caricature, but you do such a good job keeping it a character. Yeah, I mean, that's the danger, getting into the territory of like, almost becoming a cartoon, but not quite. Uh, but I think the key is ultimately just remembering that this, you know, this character is a living, breathing human being who like has very specific thoughts and wants and desires. And as long as you can remain grounded in that, then you'll be okay. Yes, we finally got interrogated by police today. How did it go? I think I aced it. But don't get me wrong, it gets, gets close. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we uh, get to see a whole nother side. Uh, this season. And I really felt for this character uh, in the first half of this season. That, that must have been really exciting to get a take on uh, that new angle. It's been great. I mean, because, you know, the the seasons one and two, you, you definitely see a, a, a progression of the character, right? You see him kind of grow a little bit. Oh, Barry, it's about to go off. But with this season in particular, you do see a new side to Hank and kind of who Hank is behind closed doors. There's something that's really special about that. And as an actor, the opportunity to flesh out a character in that way is just such a gift. 
I never thought uh, he would get me emotional, but here I was uh, getting a little, it got a little dusty uh, in oh. my living room, I'll admit. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's great to hear. You know, we love to love to get people right in the feels, you know. It's funny because this is a show about crime uh, and a show about acting. What part of the acting things do they absolutely nail? Like what things do you see on the show and you're like, been there, done that? Well, OK. I mean, I think in season one, like the acting class, what a special experience it is to kind of be a part of an acting class. Honestly, I tell anyone whether they want to be an actor or not or want to try acting or not do an acting class because you feel a sense of kind of just exploring part of yourself that you you don't get with anything else. So that 100%. And then also, yeah, like the auditioning process can be pretty, pretty brutal and pretty intense, but uh, I don't know. They, they do a pretty good job of kind of showing a very, um, very kind of real sobering uh, viewpoint of that. Which is harsher, the crime side or the acting side? Oh, boy. I mean, honestly, it's it's harder for me to watch the, all the acting stuff because <laughs> it just hits so close to home. <laughs> and action. What do I, I don't know what to say. Wow. Wow. All right, well, Anthony, I, I really enjoyed uh, the first four. Can't wait to see the next four. Uh, and again, I want to thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It was great. Great talking to you. Stephen, welcome. How are you, sir? In the universe. Still here. All good. good. <laughs> my toddler uh, unfortunately ran face first into the driveway the other day and scraped up her nose a little bit. And uh, when I was rewatching season one, it reminded me of you. I was like, wow, it looks just like my little girl. Have you noticed that they just beat me up in this series? Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I was I'm like, an elderly just, man, why? Why me? Why not like, the you, younger people on the show? Do you spend more time in the makeup chair than somebody who's like in some kind of sci-fi epic? Yep. <laughs> I, I I did a I did a Klingon once in uh, Next Gen, in uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation, and that was three and a half hours in makeup, <laughs> and I far surpassed that with uh, tattoos, bruises, bite marks, and everything going on in this show. I'm new to this rodeo. I hadn't watched a show before, and then I caught up on all of it. Oh and, uh, wow! This, yeah, you got the full me. Magilla. Wow. Yeah, I don't do this half ass. I uh, I dove in <laughs> with both my s's. Excellent. I just have the one answer. But the question is like all like the 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 relationships are so amazing, especially your character uh, and Barry. And I, I see Barry like he wants to be a good person, but he has to keep doing the bad thing. Uh, for for you, your character, um, how do you look at it? Does he want to be a good person, or is is it all about a? Patient? He thinks he is a good person. Oh, mm -hmm. Dukes thinks he is a great person, and his mentoring of Barry from the beginning of the show is uh, he, he thinks he's fine. Uh, he just doesn't understand that he is not an uncle. He's a bad uncle. He <laughs> sends people out to get killed. This is how you're earning a buck now, selling sports bras. If you tell the truth, they're never going to look at you the same way again. The problem being that he's not emotionally developed enough to not understand why Barry is not still doing this for him. And I don't think he'll ever get over it. I mean, this season is a lot about revenge uh, and a lot of brutal ways that Fuchs inflicts that revenge on Barry uh, and or tries to. I've always heard you can't hate somebody unless you love them first. Exactly. And they do. And Barry loves Cousinow. Fuchs loves Barry. Barry loves Fuchs. But it's if you have a brother, you know you love him, but you want to kill him most of the time. <laughs> so there you go. Now, now, this show is about crime. Uh, it's about acting. Now, I'm not positive, but I would assume you know more about acting than about crime. Um, I was wondering, what are some things Barry gets uh, exactly right when it comes to the acting acting world and the acting industry? That's all incredibly correct. <laughs> uh, and sometimes very sadly correct. Okay. Uh, there are many acting classes like you see in the first season of the, of the show in Kusino's class. And there are many things that people shouldn't be doing. They shouldn't be going to those classes because they don't teach great things. But the first part of the third season, you'll see Sarah walking through uh, this this whole set doing her TV show. All of that is right on. It's hmm. exactly right. You have 4,000 people waiting to, to talk to you to get ready to have the camera right here. Okay, go. It's difficult. It's difficult work. But what they've portrayed on this show is spot on all the time. Right. Well, Stephen, I thank you so much for your time. Uh, I did see the first four, season three. When you get a chance, 
Send me the next four and then send me season four and five. I super appreciate that. <laughs> well, I'll send you all the scripts. So. Okay, yeah. I appreciate that. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Have a fantastic day, man. Thanks, bud. Can you handle more amazing news? And yet, I ask to be forgiven. Knowing the life that I've been living. We've both done terrible things in our lives, but everybody deserves a second chance. I believe that you can be the version of yourself that you want to be. I need a purpose. Forgiveness is something that has to be earned. It's like that line in Shawshank Redemption. Get rich or die trying. If I don't do this, I don't live! I have to do this to live! When I met Mr. Cousineau, I was a lost soul. He, left here on my own. he didn't just teach me how to be a better actor. He taught me how to be a human being. Face he saved my life. All alone. You look good. So do you.